Hello children, welcome to AIMS India's online classes. In today's Vedic Mass, Speed Mass, Part 3, uh, we are discussing about the method casting out 9. The Mass trick or the Mass technique today we are, we are going to discuss is the casting out 9. Let's see the details here. So here, this uh, casting out nine, it's a method for checking the accuracy of arithmetic, the accuracy of arithmetic. So this casting out nine, this technique is used for checking the accuracy. What is the meaning of accuracy here? Accuracy means whether it is uh, correct or not, whether it is 100% correct or not. Uh, the checking technique is called accuracy. Here the word accuracy means whether the given problem is 100% true or 100% correct or not. And accuracy of arithmetic. So arithmetic means arithmetic it's a branch. It's a branch of uh, mathematics involving numbers and operations related to numbers. So, what are the mathematical operations, basic operations we have? We have addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. So, in arithmetic or when numbers are combined with the help of these mathematical operations to check whether the problem is correct or not, accurate or not, for checking that we will make use of this Casting out nine technique. Casting out nine technique means casting out nine means here by the picture. Uh, what do you observe by this picture? Remo removing the nine, Remo removing the nine out of the all the given numbers. So that is called casting out nine. So it is known as the casting out of nines or it is also known as the rule of the nine out this method what uh, what we are discussing today it is known as casting out of nine or the rule of the nine out so this can be used to validate whether the result of four basic mathematical operations like addition subtraction, multiplication, division, whether the result, whether it is accurate or not, or whether it is 100% correct or not, for checking that, we will make use of this technique. So, let us go detail into this topic, children. So, what is the logic behind this rule means? Suppose, uh, if you add 1 plus 9, the sum is 10. The sum is 10. So, 1 is a single digit number, 9 is a single digit number. If we add two single digit numbers, we are getting a double digit number like 10. In the double digit number, again we have two digits. If we add them separately, 1 plus 0, again we will get a single digit. So, in this uh, casting out 9 technique, what we have to do means, all the double digit numbers, we have to add them until the sum is a single digit number which is less than 9. After that, after that, now 1 plus 9, 1 plus 9, the sum of two single digit numbers if it is turned as a single digit number, the answer is 1. The answer is 1. The 1 plus 9, the sum of two single digit numbers. Finally, if it is written as a single digit number, so then how we are getting this means? Just if we strike off 9, in 1 plus 9, if we cast out this 9, if we rule out this 9, then 1 will be remaining. So, 
if you want to write the sum of any two single digit numbers into a single digit number just we can remove the nine remaining will be the answer you can see another example so 2 plus 9 2 plus 9 what is the sum 11 ultimately we have to write it as a single digit number so means in this 11 we have 1 and 1 again we will add that 1 and 1 the sum is 2 finally we got the single digit number as 2 so 2 plus 9 in order to do, do this calculation while adding two single digit numbers we have 9 here just we can rule it out we can cast it out we can remove it the answer final answer will be 2 final answer will be 2 suppose if you have 3 plus 9 if anybody asks you what is the uh, what is the uh, single digit you will be getting if you add 3 plus 9 then just we can simply remove 9 the answer is 3 because 3 plus 9 is 12 and again in 12 we have 1 and we have 2 1 plus 2 is 3 so while uh, the logic behind the rule is what is the rule what is the logic here whenever we are adding a single digit number we will get a double digit number again it will con consist of two individual digits if you add them we will get finally one single digit for finding this single digit no need to do this process no need to do this process if you have 9 directly we can remove that 9 the remaining will be the answer the remaining will be the answer so this technique is used to find out the uh, accurateness of accu the correctness of arithmetic operations 4 plus 9 we can cast out 9 the answer is 4 5 plus 9 we can remove 9 answer is 5 6 plus 9 we can remove 9 answer is 6 7 plus 9 we can remove 9 7 8 plus 9 we can remove 9 8 9 plus 9 we can remove 9 9 so this is the logic behind this casting out rule now we will follow this same technique while solving the uh, correctness of or while checking the correctness of operations first let's start with addition so now the question is how we are making use of this casting out of nine technique during addition during addition during addition suppose you have the number or uh, two four six eight this is one number three three two seven second number five four two third number one zero six three four numbers you are having one two three four numbers and you are doing addition of these four numbers and suppose if your answer is 7400 7400 now we have a addition problem here we have a addition problem here now we want to check it whether it is correct or not through this casting out of the outline technique already we have a problem here we have to check it whether it is correct or not so this method is used to use not to solve the problems mainly but used to check the correctness of the problems because in competitive competitive exams what they will do they will give this sum like this they will give four options option a option b option c option d they will ask you which of the following option is correct at that time we can make use of this technique okay so now we want we are going to check whether it is correct or not for that what we have to do in first number in first number we have to write we have to add all the single digits like this 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 is there any combination of 9 possible here there is no possibility of 9 here 2 plus 4 6 
or 6 plus 4 10 or 8 plus 2 10 there is no possibility of 9 so we have to add all the numbers 2 plus 4 6 6 plus 6 12 12 plus 8 20 20 we will write here again we will add both up to we will get single digit less than 9 2 plus 0 which is equal to 2 the the first number if it is turned as a single digit its result is 2 now second digit second number uh, 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 7 is there any possibility of 9 here if we add 2 plus 7 9 we will get we can cast it out the if the sum is 9 we can remove it out no need to consider it now 3 plus 3 is 6 so the uh, this number as a single digit its answer is 6 we can just strike off 2 and 7 now third number third number is there any possibility of 9 here 5 plus 4 9 we can remove them 5 plus 4 9 what is the remaining 2 2 we can write here next so 1 0 6 3 6 plus 3 9 6 plus 3 9 we can cast it out so 1 plus 0 what is the remaining 1 what is the remaining 1 so now now if we check all this here 2 is there 6 is there 2 is there 1 is there is there any possibility of 9 here 2 plus 6 8 8 plus 1 9 this is sum of 9 we can cast it out so what is remaining only 2 is remaining only 2 is remaining so by casting out of 9 technique we are getting the final answer as 2 in casting out 9 method what we are doing we are uh, we are making all the numbers given numbers as a single digit number and final results also we are adding them and we are writing it in a single digit number this is called condensing condensing as a single digit number bigger numbers we are condensing them into single digit numbers finally we got the answer 2 now here 7400 is there this also we have to condense into single digits 7400 7 plus 4 plus 0 plus 0 is there any possibility of 9 no 7 plus plus 4 how much 11 11 means double digit number again sum of single digit numbers 1 plus 1 equal to 2 so here also 2 we have got here also 2 we have got so answer is correct so as i have explained it has taken much time but what you have to do means just this one known first one you have to check no nines second one nines you have to cast them out third one nines fourth one nines you have to cast them out so 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 20 2 plus 0 2 3 plus 3 6 here 2 here 1 again 2 plus 6 8 8 plus 1 9 so answer is 2 7 plus 4 11 1 plus 1 2 correct like that fastly you can check them out one minute children let us see another example children based on addition let us see the second example so we have the number first number one minute we have the number uh, first number as 3241 second number 2568 third number 732 fourth number 2109 so we have four numbers here and we have to add them so after adding suppose if the result is 8650 8650 if the result is 8650 now we have to cross check whether it is uh, accurate or not uh, with the method of casting out 9 with uh, casting out 9 technique 
we have to check its correctness so for this what what we can do we can uh, do the sum of individual digits 3 plus 2 plus 4 plus 1 is there any possibility of 9 here children 3 plus 2 5 5 plus 4 9 we can strike off it so what is remaining 1 is remaining in second number 2 plus 5 plus 6 plus 8 is there any possibility of 9 here no so we have to add all 7 13 21 21 is there any possibility of 9 here no again adding both 2 plus 1 3 so the uh, second number as a single digit its value is 3 third one 7 3 2 so 7 plus 3 plus 2 so 7 plus 2 9 we can cast it out what is remaining 3 is remaining fourth number 2 plus 1 plus 0 plus 9 9 we can cast it out so what is remaining 2 plus 1 plus 0 equal to 3 so now the single digits are 1 3 3 3 so we have 1 3 3 3 is there any possibility of 9 here? 3 plus 3 plus 3, 9. So what is remaining? So 1 is remaining. So here, 1 is remaining. So in this process, we got 1. Here also, with this number, let's check its uh, sum as a single digit. So 8 plus 6 plus 5 plus 0. Is there any possibility of 9? No. We have to add all. 19 is coming. Is there any possibility of 9? In 19, if we write 1 plus as 1 plus 9, 9 we can cast it out. So what will remain? 1 will remain. So here also we have got 1. Here also we have got 1. So this answer is accurate. This answer is accurate. So in this way, we can apply casting out 9 method while checking the correctness of any problem. Now we have checked for addition. Let's see with another operation. In the case of subtraction, so casting out 9 in subtraction. Suppose here the number is 7865, another number is 2431. We have to subtract them. Suppose the answer is 5434. This is the problem. This is a subtraction problem. We want to, we are going to check its correctness through check, uh, casting out 9 method. First number, 7 plus 8 plus 6 plus 5. Is there any possibility of 9? If you add single digits? No. We have to add all. 7 plus 8, 15. 15 plus 6, 21. 21 plus 5, 26. Again, 2 plus 6. No possibility of 9. 8. Second number, 2 plus 4 plus 3 plus 1. Is there any possibility of 9? 2 plus 4, 6. 6 plus 3, 9. We can cast it out. What is remaining? 1. Now here, we are doing subtraction. So, 8 minus 1. 8 minus 1, 7. 8 minus 1, 7. We got 7 here. Let's check with this number. So, 5, 4, 3, 4. 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 4. 5 plus 4, 9. Possibility of 9, we can cast it out. What is remaining? 3 plus 4 is remaining. So 7 is the answer. Though we are doing subtraction here, but while adding the individual digits in the numbers, we should not do subtraction. Here always we have to do addition only. But the first number result is 8. The second number result is 1. As we are doing subtraction, 8 minus 1 we have to do here. Here we have to make use of subtraction not for individual ones. Here also, we have to make use of addition. Individual number, whenever uh, we are writing it as a single digit number, we have to al always use the symbol addition only. Okay. So, in this way, in subtraction also, we can make use of this method for checking the correctness. Now, let's see in multiplication. Casting out 9 in multiplication multiplication suppose we have a multiplication so 132 we have to multiply the number 132 with 434 
132 into 434. Suppose the answer is uh, uh, 57,288. This is the answer. So this is a multiplication problem. We are going to check its correctness through casting out 9 method. So 1 plus 3 plus 2. No possibility of 9. The sum is 6. 4 plus 3 plus 4. No possibility of 9. The sum is 11. Again 1 plus 1. We can write as 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2. Here what we are doing? Multiplication. The first number as a single digit we got 6. The second number as a single digit we got 2. But as the operation involved is a multiplication here. We have to do multiplication. We have to do multiplication here. So 6 into 2 what we will get? 12. Now 12 as a single digit number. When we are writing as a single digit number. Again we have to add them. 1 plus 2. No possibility of 9. Answer is 3. So in this method we got the answer as 3. So here for this number also. Let's check it. So this is, a, this is the number. When we are writing sum of uh, uh, digits, we have to make use of plus. So 5 plus, 7 plus, 2 plus, 8 plus, 8. Any possibility of 9? 7 plus 2, 9. We can cast it out. 5 plus 8, 13. 13 plus 8, 21. Again, 21 can be written as 2 plus 1, which is equal to 3. So here also we have got 3. Here also we have got 3. So this is correct. This is correct. So, while uh, using the single numbers, we have to make use of addition. While combining them, whatever operation they have given, with that operation, we have to combine them. Next, let's see in the case of division. So, casting out 9 in division. Suppose we have a division like this. The dividend the dividend is 1284 and we are dividing 1284 with the divisor with the divisor 24 we have got the quotient we have got the quotient 53 and we have got the reminder reminder as 12 now this is the division problem we are going to check its correctness through this casting out 9 method so, what is the division rule? We all know that dividend equal to divisor into quotient plus reminder. This is the division rule. Now, this long division in the form of division rule, if you write it, if you write it, it is equal to dividend is 1284, divisor is 24, quotient is 53 and reminder is 12. 12. Now, Let's check its correctness. This 1284 can be written as 1 plus 2 plus 8 plus 4. 24 can be written as 2 plus 4. 53 can be written as 5 plus 3. 12 can be written as 1 plus 2. Now, in this, any possibility of 9? 1 plus 8, 9. Cancel. Cast, cast the, we can cast it out. 2 plus 4, 6. 6 will come here. 2 plus 4, 6. 5 plus 3, 8. 1 plus 2, 3. 1 plus 2, 3. So now, next step. We have 6 here. We can take it as it is. But here, this 6 and 8 single digit numbers combined by multiplication symbol. We have to multiply them. 6, 8 times 48. Again, we have, we got double digit here. This to be simplified. Whenever we have single digit numbers, we have multiplication symbol here. We have to multiply them. We will get a digit, double digit number. Then we have to simplify it. So in next step, this 48 can be written as 4 plus 8. 4 plus 8 means 12. 12 double digit number. Again can be simplified as 1 plus 2. 1 plus 2 how much? 3. So this 48. So this one simplified as 3. Now 6 equal to 3 plus 3. 3 plus 3 how much? 6. 
6 equal to 6. So, LHS equal to RHS. So, this is a division problem also correct. Division problem also correct. Okay, children. Like that, we can check the correctness of any mathematical operation in arithmetic. So, okay, children, that's all for today. Uh, the main purpose of this casting out nine method is uh, to cross check whether a arithmetic operation is accurate or not. It can be used in all kinds of uh, arithmetic operations. So, you can download our uh, Android app, children, Ames India app, Google Play, from Google Play Store. There, all these videos will be available in the uh, skill builder sections. So, you can chart. If you have any queries, you can chart through the chart box through the app. Or you can also uh, comment. You can also like and comment from our website. Our website uh, aims today login. Our website name is aims today dot in. You can go to our website and you can comment on this video. So thank you for watching our video, children. Please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon, bell icon for receiving latest updates. So please visit our website aims today dot in. For other information regarding online classes, quizzes, worksheets, activities, English classes, coding skills. Thank you, Sharon. Have a good day.